With a beautiful sunrise this morning, um, I just try to tell my information such, tell my information on Marshall International Airport. It's crazy that you got one, two, three, four, instead of it's three seats, we got four seats and a huge $40 million international airport. Four seats for over five, six years. Um, people that need wheelchair got to relax while they're checking in. There's nowhere to go. Today, I haven't lost track of the day. I think it's the 29th. Today's the 29th. Um, the Boy Scouts are coming in. That's a black Boy Scout. I haven't seen a black Boy Scout in a while. They don't usually come here. But you see where the people are? This is where they are. Everybody's on the ground. Everybody's on the ground. And they don't care. Uh, this is Chester Cooper. John Penn was bragging with those numbers. See if you get these people off the ground. See if you can get this door um, closed with the air conditioning to escape. These are small things for people that care about tourism in the Bahamas. They don't care. Kai cares. That's the only one that cares. The rest of them don't care. They don't care if they're on the ground like dogs. Even dogs in America, they'll give them seats to sit on. But in the Bahamas, Chester Cooper and John Pinder, they're clueless that all along the corridor here, people are on the ground every day five years now the plp only been in for two years almost but nothing's changed same old s different d nothing changes uh another door can be closed that's the international section uh delta is ready the tourists are here chester it's just the way you treat them after you get them here that's the problem this door can't close. All the door can't close. Tourists on the ground. Boy, does it do something when they see tourists. Gotta sit on the ground in the Bahamas. Boy, we wish we had some leadership like Maya Motley of Barbados. She would know what to do with tourists that come so far. I don't think in Barbados or anywhere else in the Caribbean, they have four seats and a $40 million terminal. Can't fix a bathroom, can't fix a door. And the video is just to educate somebody. Somebody gonna get the message. Somebody gonna get the message. Gotta take this video, the sun is out. And she's a smoker today. There is that 50 year anniversary decoration on a 40 million dollar airport you got a ten dollar decoration you got a children's flag wrong color wrong size but that would represent the bahamas it's 50 years that's what abaco get a baby flag and children decoration that they took out the trunk it's the Marshall International Airport. A lot of space. A lot of space. But they ain't selling no money. No money you can't manage without money. You can't do nothing without money. These things was here. Every Independence Day. Break out the same decoration. I don't know if they get new ones in Nassau, but they don't get no new ones in Zabaco. Same old, same old. You can see the wrinkles in it. Every wrinkle for every year. 50 wrinkles in it. So 50 years of wrinkle, bad leadership, praying for somebody like Maya Motley to lead the Bahamas so we can be proud of something. You know to be proud of now. And the F and M rule, I was in. They had for four years. They had four seats here. This is how our tourists are gonna spend the last minutes of their vacation in the Bahamas waiting on a flight. They're probably waiting on Silver. So they'll be there till the night. Still being in no hurry to come in. That's an all day, all night thing. They need to pull the plug on Silver and tell them to run 
somewhere else. They don't deserve to run in the Bahamas. The stuff that the tourists go through all day, all night, canceling at 10, 30, 11 o'clock, whenever they feel they're canceling, they just ruin your vacation. Kai Kiss, 29th of this month, June 20, 20, 23. 50 years, that's what we're celebrating. 50 years of bureaucracy. Nothing to celebrate. Kai Kiss, that's why he's here.